seeing if I do a quick test and show without seeing off the sensor the car is locked um, but uh, the keys in my pocket so all I need to do is put my hand inside the handle he says and there we are it'll open once your hands past the sensor because it works on proximity being a keyless entry as you can see the condition of the interior is very clean very rare to have the full leather Renault Sport interior full Recaro leather seats you can see very good condition, even the drive side showing a bit of wear on the bolster, but you'd expect that. And uh, looking into the back, again, very good condition. Lovely seats. This uh, centre armrest doubles as a cup holder and cup holder and pen holder as well, and <laughs> so on. Um, as you can see, lovely deep leather, three headrests, and three three point seat belts. So uh, a three point seat belt for this middle. Uh, um, they'll see passenger as well and airbags all round including for the rear passengers rear curtain airbags I don't know if you can see that up there so all round good storage for the rear passengers good size sort of cup holder type thing here on the other side as well obviously and uh, grab handles and hooks for hanging coat hangers and things okay, so we're uh, sitting in Sat it back a bit further than I would normally sit, obviously, just so some room. Uh, so the cabin, a lovely place to be. As you can see, still no key involved in... Um, oh, you can't see that yet, but I'm about to show you. Uh, no key involved in starting the car. As the uh, little thing on the dash will tell you, press clutch. And press the start. So if I do that... Just press the start button and she bursts into life. It tells you oil level, etc. Service level. It tells you when the next service is due, or it should, I think. As far as I remember. Um, I'm sure it tells you when the next service is due. Maybe it doesn't. Okay. Um, so. Oh, there you go. Uh, next service is due in 12,390 miles. Tells the outside temperature is 28 degrees, which it is. It's absolutely baking today. Um, so let's uh, turn the air conditioning on and uh, let's do a quick test around the vehicle for you. So, uh, to test everything, the air conditioning, put it on full automatic, on 15 degrees, and it'll put the fans on full and belt cold air out, and it really is icy cold. Lovely, lovely cold air conditioning. Um, check the CD player. So um, turn the CD player on. And um, you can control all of that through the uh, controls here. So up. Uh, there's a little scroll wheel on the back to change track. So there you go. I could do that. I can mute it which just puts it on pause when it's the centre one, puts it on pause. That's for the stereo, uh, or it mutes it if it's the radio. I can change CDs and uh, change it to the radio from here as well. So everything you can imagine. Uh, the cruise control works on a uh, simple on-off here. So you turn it on, you can see that it's not on the dash. And then as soon as you press this, then it says cruise control and puts the little light on there. Now this is a really lovely cruise control because what happens when you engage cruise control by using the plus, it will then tell you exactly the speed that it's locked on to. And so when you decrease and increase, it will tell you the target speed and it will increase up to that speed and then stop. Rather than keeping your finger on until you get to the right speed, you can just say, okay, I want to sit at sort of, I'm doing 60, but I want to increase to sort of 70, 74. Just bang it up to 74 miles an hour, let go, and it'll get its way there and settle to a to an idle. Uh, this is the reset for the cruise, and then this is just to turn it off, or obviously use your brake as any other car with cruise control. It's a six-stack auto changer, which all loads through the front here, which is great. No uh, cartridge in the back for you to set off on your journey and then forget to change, so uh, which can be incredibly irritating. Um, lovely two cup holders, one doubles as a... This sort of funny thing for ashtray cup, cup 
telecom thing which is unused as you can see and it's just changing it um, this little slot here is to put your key in um, if you're like me you just leave it in your pocket if you're a woman it tends to stay in your handbag um, there's two of these keys by the way and they all the buttons work and they all have an emergency override key on them if I can do this with one hand which I can't There you go, that's the extra key. I won't slide it all the way out, but that's the extra key which works on the passenger door. Um, so that can just sit in there if you want it to. Um, and then it's cubby holes galore. Absolutely loads of lovely cup holders, pockets, an armrest pocket which is great. And that's on both sides. And then there's some secret little pockets underneath as well. Which is great to stick a first aid kit. And whatever else, little cubbies, that's on both sides, one there as well. And obviously the same cubby holes and things. Very, very deep. Here you go, it's an A4 folder, it's lengthways in there. Very deep glove box as well as airbags all round, curtain airbags as well. Um, vanity mirrors on both sides, and that works with the light above automatically. And we'll have that again on this side. Um, if I shut my door, it would turn the lights off, and then I can show you that as well. Um, now, the lights will be dimmed down there, so um, lights on, lights off, so they won't work with the door there. That's on door function. Uh, map light, map light, as you can see, everything is working as it should. Um, what else should we have a look at? I'll show you the cruise control and everything working on a test drive and the trip computer and all these other things really it's only the other electronics i wanted to show you on this particular video so you've seen all the lights it's got an auto dim uh, rear view mirror electric windows all round put that down and then this one down you can see that uh let's think uh, right side electric mirror out in up down and uh Passenger, out, in, up, down, and that's that. And then if you uh, fold this all the way to here, turn it all the way around to there, then they'll fold in. A bit similar to like a few of the Japanese cars which do the same thing, and then you just fold it back to there and they'll go out again. So, yeah, lovely. Um, so yeah, electric windows, electric mirrors full leather interior which as you can see really is lovely um, now there isn't mats in here at the moment there were there are mats um, but I don't like them they're red and I think they're hideous so um, I will put in some uh, full fitted um, black mats which I think will be much nicer brand new ones uh, luxury mats so uh, they'll it'll look a lot nicer then um, and yeah any questions please do ask check out the other videos uh, and uh, yeah, anything I can do to help at all. Um, any part exchanges are uh, always considered. Cash either direction, cars or bikes. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for looking.